Feeling that after the gym soreness? And have no idea how to release that built up tension? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get rid of that muscle soreness once and for all using only two items. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Michelle West here and welcome back to my channel where I create videos that help inform, motivate, and inspire you to get up, move, and live a healthier life. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to relieve tension and ease soreness. I cannot tell you how many of my clients come to me and say, uh, Michelle, I'm so sore. My IT band is tight. I can't walk. And I say, well, do you? Yeah. Oh, no and they look at me like I have five heads <laughs> and they've never rolled out before. Guys, I cannot stress to you how important it is to roll out your muscles. It increases circulation, it gets the body moving, and it relieves soreness. Now, what's the technical term for rolling out? It's called self-myofascial release, and all that means is self-massage. So when you self-myofascial release, you're getting deep into the fascia tissue. Not focaccia bread, fascia tissue. Now, these tissues run all throughout your body to hold your bones, your organs, your blood vessels, and your nerve muscle fibers into place. When you work out, those tissues tend to tense up. All you have to do is use two items, a ball and a foam roller to release soreness and to release domes, delayed onset muscle soreness. So right now I'm gonna show you a couple of techniques that you can use with a foam roller or a lacrosse ball to help you ease muscle soreness once and for all. And as always, don't forget to show me some love and give this video a thumbs up. All right, let's get right into it. I'm gonna give you four moves that I love to use to release tension on my foam roller. If you don't have a foam roller, that's totally okay. You can buy one from Amazon today, Amazon Prime. I bought this one on Amazon for $18. I will put a link in the description box of this foam roller below. Now, just join me down on the floor and I'll show you those four moves. Okay, so the first move is to release the tension from your lower back. You're gonna place the foam roller right underneath your lower back. Gently push your hips up to the ceiling and you're gonna gently roll forward on the foam roller and rolling backwards. And the trick here is that if you start to feel a place where there's tension or a little bit of held muscle, you wanna hold it here for about 30 to 90 seconds until you feel a release and then you can move on to another section. Okay, next we're gonna roll out our IT band. Now our IT band is the muscle that extends from our hip all the way down to our knee on the side of our leg. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your foam roller and put it underneath your booty or your hip. If you're on your glutes, even though that feels good and you can roll out there, you're too far back. I want you to roll to the side. You're gonna extend your right leg or if you're on your left leg, your left leg and put your opposite leg in front. Now you wanna extend all the way up to the knee and then go all the way back down. Awesome for runners. Let's move on to the next one. The next move is for the calf muscles. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna place one foot, one calf muscle on the foam roller. You're gonna place your other foot on top of that foot, okay? Now you're gonna slightly bring your hips up off of the ground and you're going to roll out your calf. Front and back. Now when some people do this and they have never rolled out their calf muscles before, this is like ah, excruciating. So if it's too much, all you have to do, take your hips up and take your foot off the ground. That's it. And then roll out your calf, forward and back. Now this last one is for your inner thigh and your knee. This is actually one of my favorite ones to do on the foam roller because I hold so much tension here and you'd be surprised. Try it on a foam roller at home, see how you feel. Take one leg and you're gonna be at the end of your foam roller, that's the key. You don't wanna be in the center, you wanna be at the very end. Now, you're gonna relax your leg on your foam roller, then you're gonna roll up, slightly bending your knee, and taking it all the way up to that crease where your knee extends, yeah? So this is really good for if you're running a lot and you feel some knee pain or knee tension, Right here is where you wanna focus. Also, if you're lifting heavy, this is great for you as well. 
Okay, time to get into my other favorite type of Maya Fashion release, and that is with a lacrosse ball. If you don't have a lacrosse ball at home, you can buy a lacrosse ball or a pair of two on Amazon for about $10. I'll put a link to this ball that I got in the description box below. If you don't have a lacrosse ball at home, you can also use a tennis ball, but I like the hardness of a lacrosse ball to get into those muscles really deeply. Now, everything you do with a foam roller, you can also do with a lacrosse ball, but I'm gonna show you four specific moves that I really like to do with my my lacrosse ball so the first one is getting the upper back in the shoulders all you're gonna do is literally lay on the ball and you're really gonna get into those spots where you feel the most tension so for me this is one of my favorite moves because I hold a lot of tension in my upper back and my shoulders a lot of people in society tend to do that too because we're always on our phones or on the computer now the next move I love to do and this is for my lower back now I feel like a foam roller really can't get into the depths of the lower back like the lacrosse ball does and literally all you're gonna do is put the lacrosse ball in behind your lower back you're going to lay down fully on the ground and roll roll out the key to this one you don't want to put the ball directly on your spine you want to put it on the sides where your muscles are not on your bone okay now since we're already down here we're gonna get into that booty and get into that hip this is my favorite you would be surprised on how much tension people hold in their glutes so let's take this ball and you're literally gonna put it directly underneath your butt okay and you're gonna roll around with the ball underneath your glute muscle you can also extend your leg out and twist around and sit on your hip this one i feel the most tension Whew. and also if you have lower back pain it's probably because your hips are tight and the last move i have for you today is rolling out your feet <laughs> i used to do this all the time after i was done dancing in heels when i was doing my shows or when i'm standing on my feet all day training clients i always roll out my feet at the end of the day so taking the ball underneath your foot and just rolling back and forth and you can take this slow do this fast you can do the sides of your feet the ball of your foot it feels so nice Give this a try at home. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed those techniques. And remember, recovery is just as important as doing the hard work in the gym. So make sure you give your body and your muscles some love. And trust me, you will thank me later. Let me know down in the comments which way you love to move. Oh, oh. Thank you all so much for watching this video. And I hope to see you on the next one. Bye. Can I show the people how to roll out? Please. 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 He's like, I'll sit right here. <laughs> ah, cool. I love you.